All right, so this is uh, part two of the MR2 turbo build. So I went online and bought a couplings. I bought two of them. I bought a, this one is from two inch to two and a half. And I bought a two and a half to three inch. The turbo pipe is usually two and a half inches. So that's what the what this coupling is gonna be for. So if you see here, the turbo, if you measure from this end to this end, it's two inches. And then you can just put your coupling in there. So here's my coupling. And now I gotta, see if you can see that angle. I gotta have this angle coming to this angle. So I gotta make the pipe work here can see that better or off and this is where this is gonna come in so we cut it in half we're gonna have this pipe pretty much looking like that this is just an S and then we'll be able to put it here this is why we need this S So this is pretty much how it's going to look. I got a 90 here, cut it. Got another 90 here, cut it. And another 90 going into the inner cooler. So I'm gonna have to weld right here. I don't think I could. I can put a coupling because of the, the angles that there are. So there's no way a coupling can go in here. But I'm gonna weld here, here. Let's do an aluminum weld and then uh, I'm gonna have to start doing this, going up, probably remove this heat shield right here and go through there. So I heat wrapped my pipe. I'm gonna heat wrap the inner cooler too. I forgot about this pipe right here. Um, I need to finish this one so I can weld the, the mass airflow sensor up there on the top. And I also did the top. So the inner cooler is pretty much done. And that's how it looks. All right, so I welded my piece. This is how it looks. It's kind of weird. When you weld your pipe together or cut pipe and adding it, don't forget to make those little grooves right there. Just make it, you can make them with pliers. They sell a tool to make these, or you can just weld them on like I did. This will make a big difference. This will keep your pipe from flying out. I don't know if you've ever seen those videos where they got the cars and the, and the turbos, I mean, on the dyno, and then you just shoots out, goes out flying. But sometimes, because they forget to put these things on them, and they just slip off. They have all that pressure, 17 pounds of boost, we will throw it off, just shoot it out. So let me install this and show you how it looks like. So here's my part fully installed. I got all my clamps in there. It all fits perfect. It is not touching right there, so that's good. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I took my uh, engine out and painted it Volvo green. Oh, pretty epic. Look at that. My transmission is steel gold. But yeah, Volvo green. Oh, and I put a little plastic clamp right here, bolted up to one of these bolts, and it keeps my line from touching anything up here. So it's not gonna come loose and touch over here. Or... Yeah. I also gotta put a filter on, which I already have one. I think I'm just gonna keep it here. I think it'd be all right if it stays there. And I also bought a boost controller that I need to install here. Um, I have to do the exhaust as well. And uh, I gotta finish this tomorrow. And I already welded this three inch pipe that's gonna go on there because the, the inlet of the intake is a three inch. 
and um, where my um, air meter goes and I've actually got a flinch that's going to go at this end in the throttle body so I'm going to have to take the throttle body off but uh, yeah okay so here I have the original uh, inlet pipe so this is what we're going to switch to already well that this, this is 3 inch because the throttle body is a 3 inch and I also bought a aluminum B band that's going to go here and it's going to hook up to my pipe so I can just easily take it off so it's going to go somewhere here and then we're going to mark it where I'm going to have to cut to do this this is an inch and a half from this end to this end it's an inch and a half so we're gonna have to take an inch and a half from this mark to where we put it in there to fit somewhat and just measure it out take about an inch and a half out of it and it should fit and then uh, add the rest of it which is gonna be over there here's the throttle body I'm going to let the weld all around here. I only took the, the throttle positioning sensor just because um, I'm going to weld really slow to not get this thing hot to ruin the sensors or melt anything inside of it. So I'm just going to weld really slow, do a piece here. We're going to tack it on the four corners. One, two, three, four. And... Um, come back and do one side let it cool down go do the other side let it cool down that's how we're gonna keep doing it until we have it well so here's a throttle body with the flinch welded on there you can see that so it's got a little tilt to one side so what I'm gonna try to do, just put it on there cut the pipe to the tilt that it's got in there and put it on there and this is how this is how it looks with the other piece of the flange. So this is like an inch and a half taller now. So I got my inlet pipe welded. There's the flange. Um, let me show you how it's gonna go. So it's pretty much gonna go like there. I already drilled a hole right here to put the mass airflow sensor. And I just use one of these uh, Cone bits make it fit in there perfect, and this is where this is gonna be going on. So that's gonna get welded right there, and that's how it's gonna look. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld that piece real quick, and we'll put this pipe in there. I made a mistake here. I forgot that the diameter of the mass airflow sensor pipe was completely different so this is not going to work so I'm going to cut it here and uh, I'm going to cut this for the blow off valve and uh, I got the 90 already on there so I might have to move this uh, forward now since I'm going to cut it here so I'm going to have a smaller pipe coming down here and I had to do the hole for the blow valve. So I'm gonna start doing that. Here's the pipe fully finished. I had to put this on before um, welding it on there. So I drilled my hole, it looks pretty good. I use a, a hole saw right here. When you're using a hole saw, always make sure it's smaller than the hole that you want because it doesn't cut straight so see it's a lot smaller and um, because it doesn't cut perfect because it wiggles so much it moves around um, it makes it actually a bigger hole so always make sure you use a smaller a smaller hole saw than the size that you want the hole to be because this is pretty much perfect So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Um, 
I'm gonna have to put uh, another the plastic line that goes here, the, the coupling, and then put my uh, mass airflow sensor out here in the front somewhere else. So I'm gonna go install this in the car. And uh, there's my blow valve, here's my pipe coming down, and it's gonna meet right here. Already cut the 90 and it does not fit at all. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut right here and weld the pipe directly to to there because there's no uh, coupling that's gonna work right there. This is barely, barely fitting in there. And then I'm gonna have to cut another 90 right here. So I welded the 90 directly to the inner cooler and now this is my S. There's the ball valve back there. And the mass airflow sensor is gonna go right there.